Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Three Chord Dave. This guitar does not yet have a name, but let's talk about it anyway. Yes folks, this is the Epiphone Nancy Wilson Nighthawk Fanatic guitar. I ordered it as soon as it was announced at the Believe in Music Week uh, by Gibson. Yes folks, this is the Epiphone Nancy Wilson Nighthawk Fanatic and let's talk about it. And let's just, a quick reminder, if you haven't heard about it, so this was released or announced at NAMM this year, the Believe in Music Week by Epiphone uh, slash Gibson. And uh, it's obviously a collaboration with Nancy Wilson um, of Heart, who is obviously a very well-respected guitar player in her own right, and has had a Nighthawk as her signature model for many a year now. The Nighthawk originated in 1993, I believe. Nancy Wilson has said she had a huge hand in designing it, uh, at least in this version of the guitar. Now, she said that she designed this guitar because it looks like it, the body of a naked woman. Um, yeah, not, not a naked woman I've ever seen, but hey, uh, that is fine. So she, she genuinely said that. And um, yeah, look, the guitar is a little bit unusual. Uh, you at first glance think, hey, it's kind of a Les Paul. It's not a Les Paul at all. In fact, it's very, very different to a Les Paul. First of all, we have a string through body, so you can see Strings go right through the body. So that's one thing. You have a kind of a thinner body as well, but it's still got a bit of a chunky weight to it. And you've got obviously one volume, one tone, and you've got a five-way selector switch here. Now I'll get more into that in just a few moments, but first of all, look at this bridge as well. It's kind of unique to this model. You've got the slanted humbucker here, and this is a mini humbucker in the neck position, which I'm not sure it's supposed to move as much as it does, but it does. And then of course we have the lovely Epiphone Kalamazoo headstock, uh, which they started doing again last year on the majority of their models. And I really dig it. I like it a lot. You, you'll know it was one of the reasons I bought my SG last year. And I continued it with the Les Paul, uh, the Epiphone Muse Les Paul just a few weeks ago. However, just something to notice, and this is a little bit unusual to me, they've changed the font that Epiphone is written in, and I'll show you some pictures here now. Um, so this one is kind of, kind of a more traditional Epiphone style font, whereas last year's models anyway, all have the Gibson font, or kind of very close to the Gibson font. So very different font that they're using. I don't know, I didn't notice that that was a thing they are gonna do. I wonder, are they gonna do it with across the board on Epiphones from now on? Um, I don't know. How do I feel about it? it um, it's fine, I guess. It just is a bit weird. If you have two or three or four Epiphones, they're not gonna look the same and it'll make people think, oh, that must be a fake or something. I don't know, it just looks a bit strange to me that they've changed it. I don't understand why they have, um, but hey, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Something else that separates this guitar from a Les Paul is that it is a completely flat top there. So, you know, there's no um, carved top like a Les Paul would have. And of course the dimensions are a little different also in terms of the shape is cut out. It's a smaller guitar by a good bit. In fact, uh, the Les Paul won't go anywhere near the case that comes with this guitar. It's, it's quite a bit smaller than uh, your standard Les Paul. Now, let's take a quick look at the case. This is the case. Now, the reason I wanted to have a good look at this is because I think it is an indicator of what we may receive with the Slash Les Pauls when they come out in the summer of this year. And I'm happy to say this is an actually really nice case. Seems solid enough. It's got uh, four latches, one on the back and three on the front. When you open it up, it's got some very plush, dark gray um, kind of material on it there. It's got a nice leather pull tab where you open it up and there's lots of case, there's enough, lots of room for case candy. And this is kind of like a hum dehumidifier thing. And uh, a bumper sticker and a little crappy certificate. Um, tag that they've given with Epiphones for years. In fact, those two things have come with Epiphones for a long time now. And then of course you can see the gold embossed um, Epiphone logo on the back there. That is, it, it's a pretty good case. I like it, I like it a lot. And I think considering there was a picture posted by Slash last week on his Instagram, where he showed a case in the background, kind of on the sly. It looks very similar to that case. So those of you like myself who are waiting for more news about the Slash uh, Epiphone Les Pauls, expect a case, something similar to that, which I will be very happy with, to be quite honest. And 
if that case can come with this guitar for a total price of 531 euros, I would be very surprised if the Slash collection comes in at any more than 699, let's say 699 euros, uh, which would be a top end price really for what you would pay for a Les Paul from Epiphone, I think, and it comes with a case, I think they're gonna do some good stuff. Now, let's have a little chat about this guitar again and the five-way switch. So again, something more akin to what you would find on a Strat, except it works very differently, or maybe a PRS, and you know, it's very un-Gibson-like, but of course the Nighthawk has been around for a good while, so nothing new there. And I know that the Nighthawk has been around for a while because this guitar came with this little piece of paper, which I'll show close-up pictures of in a moment. Now at the very top it says, Nighthawk Custom Pickup Controls 2011. That was 10 years ago, Epiphone, 10 years ago, and you've given me this piece of paper. And it's inaccurate <laughs> for a lot of reasons. For a start, it shows a diagram that has three pickups, a humbucker, another humbucker, and a single coil in the middle, which is non-existent on this guitar, doesn't happen to be there. And then there's a little icon here which shows you push-pull on the uh, tone knob. So I tried that and I pulled at the, the tone knob. It's like, it's, it's not, the push-pull is broken. <laughs> there's no push-pull and the knob eventually came off and had to be put back on. Not a big problem, but um, I don't know why this piece of paper is in there. It just goes to show uh, a lack of attention to detail and that's worrying because Epiphone and Gibson ha do not have a great track record when it comes to quality control. So. Epiphone, if you're out there, take these little tiny pieces of paper and update them. Now, what they do is tell you the how the switching works. And I'm gonna go through that with you now. There are five, obviously five positions. Um, the first position, so how Epiphone and Gibson, I suppose, um, choose this one is they say that position number one is all the way back towards the bridge. So we're starting, first position is the bridge and it's just the bottom coil of the bridge. Uh, so we'll go through the sounds in just a moment, but that's what we got there. If you go to position two, which is just one step further, you're getting the full bridge pickup. Uh, so that's position one, just the bottom coil. Position two, the full humbucker. Now, if you want to go to position three, you get just the inside coils here. So you get the inside of the bridge and the inside of the neck pickup. So it's like having the split coils there. Position four then, uh, is the inside of the neck pickup. So just this part of it. And then position five, lastly, is the full neck pickup by itself. And you can play with the tone and get different sounds and stuff out of it. And we're gonna do that now in just a moment. So guys, that is how it works. So if you know anyone who picks up one of these guitars, they don't know how it works, direct them to this video and I'll tell them uh, exactly how it works. So position one is just the uh, rear coil on the bridge full coil, middle, the two inner coils, then you've got just the inner neck coil and then the full uh, neck coil, neck humbucker there. Uh, it is a humbucker by the way, it's, it's kind of like a mini humbucker but it's also kind of like a Firebird pickup. So anyway, let's listen to what this guitar sounds like and then see what we think.
So, look, honestly, I don't think this is the guitar for me, and it's got nothing to do with the fact that it's not blue. I know you guys are saying, hey Dave, how many blue guitars do you need? Well, let me tell you, my friend, a lot more blue guitars than I already have. And that's the truth. <laughs> but no, this guitar plays nice, the neck is nice, the um, feel of it is good, the body is good, it's an, it's a, it looks really nice. What I do not like, I do like the, the bridge pickup, I think that sounds great. I do not like positions three, four, or five. I think they sound crap. So maybe this uh, neck pickup is not the best. Everything else I think is pretty cool about this. I'm happy with the, the case it comes in, the, the case candy and all that sort of stuff I think is impressive for the price. 530 euros, I think it's, it's, a, it's a really good deal. And if you are somebody who really likes either Nancy Wilson or you dig this Nighthawk body, then uh, you should definitely jump on this one. It's a good, good deal. It's just not the guitar for me. So I think I'll probably be sending it back, but we'll see how that goes. And if it goes back, it'll be replaced. So watch out for something new coming soon. Um, and that's it guys. So let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Of course, love to know everything that you think about this guitar. And um, of course, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. And if this is more than the first time you have watched my channel, please hit that subscribe button because then you can come back for more every single week, Wednesday and Saturday, cool guitar content and lots more coming down the pipe. So thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate you joining me today. This is the fanatic Nancy Wilson, a Nighthawk from Epiphone. Some combination of those words. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.